Welcome back to the show floor here at CPHI Worldwide. We're in Hall 10 in the new exhibitor pavilion where I'm delighted to be joined by Henry Vincenti, who is CEO of Endoka. Henry, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, thank you very much. Wonderful, right, first things first. Tell me about Endoka's business. What is it that you work with? Uh, we're doing cannabinoids mm -hmm. from hemp plants. It means plants that has no THC in it and we have a wide range of cannabinoids. Right now we are focusing on the cannabinoid called CBD mm -hmm. and CBG and we make plant extracts and also pure forms and we supply the industry that later can formulate to their own products. We are bulk manufacturer of this. Okay, and whereabouts are you based? We are in Denmark and we are in America, in San Diego and in Copenhagen. Terrific, and how long have you been in operation for? Well, we have actually been doing products for three years now on the market and uh, we've been researching for eight years. So. Okay. It took some time before we got to this point. Sure. Now, the use of, of cannabis in uh, treatments is, uh, has some challenges and, it, and it's had a lot of press recently. What, what kind of challenges do you face in, in bringing your products to market? Well, the biggest challenge maybe is that uh, the misunderstanding of the cannabis plant because everybody thinks that cannabis is something that gives you a high or gives you maybe uh, psychosis or you know bad effects it, the, the good effects has been forgotten for some time because of the legalization and all the bad propaganda against it but uh, now uh, we have a challenge of course to educate people and say that there is actually other components like CBD and not only THC that gives you the high so yeah well I mean let's talk about some of those uh, potential benefits in that case what why why is this good stuff here? What sort of uh, treatments would it be used for? Well, to claim something particular is very um, difficult because there are no studies yet mm -hmm. that are proven the fact 100%. There are a lot of anecdotal evidence yep. and there are a lot of evidence-based medicine out there because you have a lot of doctors and patients in America and everywhere in the world using this product. You have, I mean, you have medical dispensaries in America, thousands of them, where people are getting this as a medication, but there are no clinical trials as normally. Normally you go through clinical trials to prove a drug, but right now it's like people, they just have access to it, they use it and they're happy, and it works for epilepsy, for inflammation, for pain, for yeah. sleeping disorders, but there is no normal, or not normal, but more clinical studies that are 100% you know, confirming this, but they're coming. They're well, all. Coming. I was going to say, why have there not been? I mean, obviously, hemp, cannabis has been around for an awfully long time. So, why have there not been these clinical studies into its uh, benefits? Because the politicians has made it illegal and uh, very difficult to get hands on to study with. Mm -hmm. But since now a lot of thing has changed. Now it's more legal. It's more open-minded because of documentaries out there where people saw, wow, it helps epilepsy, yeah. for example, why should this be legal? So now a lot of controversy, stu not studies, but um, a lot of things happen out there where people took it and they came with their, their effects and said, hey, listen world, it's actually helping me. Why should I be a criminal? And this is how now things are changing and politics are saying, oh yeah, maybe we should talk about this medicine because it helps people. Mm -hmm. Of course, some can take it to, uh, to get a high or to have a party, but I mean, other cannabinoids, you don't get a high. So it's all yep. about the other um, benefits from it, not getting the high. Sure. So coming back to where uh, Endoka fits into the jigsaw puzzle here, and clearly it's quite a complicated one, but um, certainly a uh, fight worth fighting by, by the sounds of it. Uh, you, you work in, in the extraction uh, business as well uh, as Part, part of what you do, yeah? Yeah, we, we grow the plants mm -hmm. and we extract them and then we purify cannabinoids to a level that uh, it's needed for the different industries. Some need 99%, some yeah. just need the normal extract as it is, 20% or 10% CBD, so. That's great, now you're here in the new exhibitor yeah. pavilion here. Um, how, how have you found that? This is your first time here yes, at CPHI is. Worldwide. How's it been for you? Well, I think it's, uh, it's a very nice uh, place to be because uh, so many professionals are here mm -hmm. from different industries and you can, really, uh, you can really learn a lot from different aspects and angles. Sure, so sure. it's very beneficial, I think. And talk to me about the conversations that people have been having with you. I'm guessing some of them have been you know, out of curiosity, some similar lines to the conversation that I've been having with you. Yes, exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, It's the old thing that, uh, okay, so is it a drug or what is this? Mm. And we always have to explain that, like, this is a food because it's not THC, it's CBD. 
maybe in the future it will be seen as a drug, but right now it's a food. And we hope that this will also be continuous this way because I see it as a very essential molecule for the diet in the people. I mean, you make endocannabinoids when you do yoga or meditation or do some things, you, you produce endocannabinoids. Mm -hmm. The only thing we help is by making phytocannabinoids, get your body what you should be getting. But because you live in a stress environment, you don't do yoga, you, you know, eat wrong, you don't have endocannabinoids. So we're just supplying what you need. So I hope really that the food way will be the future and that people will accept it as a, as a vitamin. Let's talk a bit more about the future in that case. Um, where do you hope you will be with Endoka? Let's say in three years time. You've been back to CPHI worldwide two or three times by then. Where do you hope that your business and indeed the industry will be in, in that time frame? I hope that it will be more, uh, more public and available for everybody. It will be more in pharmacies as a nutraceutical supplement or it will be I hope that the, there will be more n awareness about it. Mm -hmm. That I mean, now we're here first time, people are like, what is this? I hope that next time it's more about what are we doing with it yes. instead of what it is, you know, because right now it's just answering the question, what is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So I hope that we're going to talk about what we can do with it in the future. Well, listen, Henry, thank you so much for, for sharing that with us. It's been a fascinating conversation. Good luck, and I look forward to chatting with you, if not next year, in two or three years' time, to see exactly yeah. where your business is. But for now, Henry, CEO of Endoka, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much.